Hi there, welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my racing game devlog series. So if you've been following along, what I've been working on previously was optimizing the traffic system. And there's a ton of AI cars in the scene right now. Um, maybe about a hundred, not sure. Um, previously there was a lot fewer and I was just having some performance issues. Right now I'm running at about 60 frames per second in the editor, and you can see I just have a ton of cars. So I'm not actually going to have this many cars always driving. I'll probably create some kind of pooling system and make sure there's always cars around the player. Maybe I'll have more cars, I, I don't know. I'll get to that point when I'm ready. Um, I talked about how I was optimizing the traffic system with the C-sharp job system and burst compiler, and that ended up really cleaning up the code, and I, I feel like that's not a bottleneck anymore like it was previously. Um, so I actually went back to working on the open world. One of the things that I knew was missing was a sky, so I went and tossed in Enviro. I had it in previously for the initial prototype phase, and I ended up pulling it out when I uh, moved this project over to a new project. Um, I didn't pull it out, it just never got added. But um, it really makes the sky feel a lot nicer than it did before. Um, so yeah, I'm just driving around the city. You might notice that the buildings are different if you've been following along. So what I have is larger buildings and fewer of them. Previously there were probably about 20 buildings on each block, maybe 10 to 20. Now each block is maybe one to four buildings. Um, and I, I just have larger buildings. And I'm doing that mostly to make sure that I have fewer pieces of geometry that need to be rendered. I've also went in and set up occlusion culling. Um, so if we go ahead and turn on the scene view. So the goal with the occlusion culling is to, and I might end up changing the, the roads. So like this road, for example, let me go ahead and select the player car. Um, might need to start naming this stuff differently because I'm I'm having a hard time finding what I need to find. There we go. So this is where the player car is right now, and all of that geometry is still being rendered. And, you know, if there was a T-shaped intersection right in front of the player, and this building was moved over to be in front of the road, most of that geometry wouldn't be rendered. Um, so as I'm going through this level design process, what I'm going to be thinking about in, in the front of my mind is making sure that I'm laying out the environment in a way that will just occlude as, as much content as possible. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to be a little creative for that, and I'm probably going to have to adjust the roads a little bit. But if I go ahead and drive around a little bit more, you'll see that as the car drives, the the pieces of geometry that are not in the player's view port are not being rendered um and i'm i haven't really experienced any popping but there was a a spot over here that i had some trouble with and i actually had to bake about four times so baking a scene the size um it does not take a few minutes it takes about an hour um maybe about a half hour using the default uh, occlusion settings. Um, from this view over here, let's go ahead and move over. Right around, um, let's see, right around this area, I had a lot of pieces of terrain that were missing. And I, what I turned off was this bridge. So this bridge has a bunch of pieces on it and um, I, I think that some of the very tiny mesh pieces, they were marked as occluder static, 
and what they were doing was they were were blocking that piece of geometry for whatever reason during the bake process. Anyway, I went through and I deleted those pieces off of the bridge and now the the terrain seems to be rendering. It doesn't have any holes in it. It was really obvious that there were holes because as you would look over here, that black part, which is where the terrain is, would not be black. Um, so yeah, and with the, with the moon, with the Enviro, I kind of feel like it's a little too bright, but at the same time, when I turn that down, it, it doesn't look as cool. So I, I, I need to play with the lighting and just overall ambience of the scene a little bit more. I still need to get a bunch of traffic or street lights in here, um, lighting up the road and maybe some other lights. Um, there, there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done to populate this environment. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show that I kind of never showed in any of the videos, let me just go ahead and do that now. It, it gave me an idea of a, a different type of game that would probably be really quick to develop compared to this game. Um, where is that big pit? Well, it's not really a pit. It's supposed to be like a river or water. Um, there's just no water down there right now. Wow, I have no idea where I'm at right now. And <laughs> because of the occlusion, I can't see anything. So let's just go and drive. I, I know this way should lead to a bridge. I, I think I have an idea where I'm at. Yep. Uh, making my way there. Here we go. Okay. So what I wanted to do was drive down here. So as I was testing stuff out, um, what I realized was <clears throat> this car controller can kind of drive on walls um, with the settings that it has right now. So I'm basically driving horizontally, which is kind of cool. Um, throughout development, when you make stuff, you just find out that y you find weird things and they just kind of are cool or not cool. And I, I thought about doing, oh wow, he just went through the floor. Okay, so that's that's it. But anyway, um, I, I was able to do some like Tony Hawk Pro Skater stuff with the car, which felt kind of cool, like just drive it up and down the hills. And anyway, um, so that's about it. That's where I am right now. I, I decided to go back to world building and I set up some occlusion culling and the performance is pretty much at 60 frames inside of the editor. And I have a bunch of systems turned on right now. So I feel good about that. I, I think that there's still some room for optimization with this scene and the way all of the graphics and lighting and et cetera is set, set up. But at this point, I'm, I'm feeling like it's starting to come together. Um, I have a lot of content in here and I could go into that race, but I'm not going to because I haven't tested it in a day, so maybe it might not work. Um, pretty sure I baked it, but anyway, so this is my devlog and this is where I'm at. I'm back to open world design. And at this point I should start to be creating more content. So thanks for checking it out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.